How does God work? God has always kept his eyes on the last ones. God has always looked at the last ones. He always looked at the despised ones, the weakest, the wretched, those people who, humanly speaking, no one gives anything for them. There, in Corinthians, he says, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world, what is a base things? It's something that has no value. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not, to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. In other words, that nobody may glory in his presence. God chose, God chooses these people. I would like you to keep these words with you because these are words of the Lord Jesus. So the last will be first, and the first, last. For many are called, but few chosen. Here is the difference. God calls everyone. God calls people. God calls the entire world. Come to me. God leaves the invitation. We go to the TV, the radio, the streets, every means of communication, and we call the people, come and come. We are only saying what God told us to say. But not everyone comes. Many are called, but just a few of those who are called come. But among the called, in the midst of those who are listening to me, following me, listening to this message, were called, you were called, because you are here. How are you chosen? Jesus said, many are called, but few chosen. How do you make yourself chosen? How are you chosen by God? The chosen ones are those who surrender themselves to God, are those who believe, believe to the point of surrendering their lives entirely, surrendering entirely to God. These are the chosen. Put your life at His disposal. Surrender yourself entirely to God. Surrender yourself. What is to surrender yourself? You understand what it means to surrender because you've surrendered yourself to other things and other people. You've already surrendered yourself. Think about how many things and people you've surrendered yourself to in this world. To drinking, you got drunk, fully drunk, stumbling, saying foolish things because you've surrendered yourself to drinking. You went to get drugs in a dangerous place. You made illegal businesses. You could have been arrested. You've ingested drugs, putting yourself in jeopardy because you didn't know what was in the drugs. You brought to your body drugs that could have killed you. You've surrendered yourself to the drugs. You went to bed with somebody who had no commitment with you, did not get married with you, made no vow with you. Maybe you not even knew their name, but you went to bed with them because you surrendered yourself to pleasure, to that person. You know what is to surrender yourself. You know it. You can say that you don't want to surrender yourself to God, but you cannot say that you don't know what is to surrender yourself to God, because those who want to surrender themselves, they know what to do. 
because if you surrender yourself, you make yourself chosen. You're no longer just called, but you are chosen. And even if you were the last, the last one in this world, weak, fool, nobody gives a thing for you. You are a joke among friends and family members. Even if you are that person, God will take you from this situation of being last and will put you in a high place that He may be glorified, not you, and that He may be glorified in you. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.